hello guys so in last video i was talking about how we can eliminate this uh, hard coded locations of the log for j dot properties right so for that what we have to do is we have to design one resource helper so that resource resource helper will always give us the locations of the resource in our framework right so for that what we can do here is we can add one more uh, package okay uh, in the helper class we can add one package called a resource dot resource right inside the resource we can write one class resource helper okay we have I wrote one class resource helper and here we can design one method public static uh, get resource get resource path okay we can design this and here this guy will take a string as an argument a string path now and we can keep a rest, uh, return type as a string why I'm keeping a string you will come to know okay and here I will write base path is equal to and this I am going to make as a string so what is the base path so what happens is when you work with the framework everything should be very uh, relative it should not be any hard coded locations so if tomorrow uh, if you change the locations of your framework your test script should not fail so there is one class called system dot get property so when you write system dot get properties and in double quote when you write user dot dir okay so this will give you the locations till your project right so no matter which directory you keep when you write system dot get property user dot dir it will give you locations till your here ui framework till here it will give you right and then we can return uh, we can return base path plus path okay we can return this control a control shift f now let me test that whether this is working or not so again make a main method and you call this dot get resource in path let's say i am going to write go to the properties and till till project i will get locations from there so what i need to do is i need to only supply these locations okay remaining it will be taken care and then uh, we can write if we can store this path into a variable and we can print the path so that we can understand okay and i can print here s y s o control a space bar path let's see that if this is working fine right click run as java application so i can see that it is printing the path you can see that after revive framework src main resources config file log dot project property so it is printing the entire path of your locations right that is the benefit now what uh, we can do is so whenever you are writing main method and if you have tested your code keep on removing the main method you don't need to write main method everywhere okay now what i can do this resource helper now i can go to my uh, logger helper and inside that i can i can write here resource helper dot get a resource path and inside that i need to write only this much i don't need to write the entire things now now this is relative now if you have this kind of locations 
now it will your framework will not break okay so you can call this resource helper dot get restore now you can understand like how you should design a framework everything should be very structured way i have designed one logger helper now i have resource resource helper right so one by one step by step we'll design our framework so that you will be champion into designing the framework now in third video i mean not third video i think fifth or sixth video i will talk about some other helper classes which we need to design for our framework thank you guys thank you for watching this